The Caspian Sea, the world's largest inland body of water, is in a state of steady retreat. Since 1995, its level has dropped by three meters, displacing coastlines by up to 50 kilometers in some areas. By 2023, the sea reached its lowest recorded level in three decades. Scientists warn that if current trends persist, the Caspian may soon surpass its previous record low of 29 meters below sea level, last observed in the late 1970s. For the five nations bordering the Caspian, Azerbaijan, Russia, Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan and Iran, the stakes are immense. This sea has long been a lifeline for fisheries, energy industries and local economies. But shrinking shorelines are now threatening vital infrastructure and biodiversity. In Kazakhstan, the shoreline near the village of Janbay has receded by over 20 kilometers in the last two decades, devastating fishing communities. The disappearance of water has jeopardized sturgeon populations, a species that has long supported Kazakhstan's caviar industry. The Caspian's fate draws parallels with the Aral Sea disaster, once the world's fourth largest lake. The Aral was effectively destroyed by Soviet-era water mismanagement leaving behind an ecological wasteland. Entire economies collapsed, biodiversity was wiped out, and health crises followed. While the Caspian scale and hydrography make its decline slower and more complex, the warning signs are clear. Without intervention, the region faces a similar fate. The Aral Sea disaster stands as a cautionary tale, an ecological catastrophe that unfolded in plain sight. The Caspian's decline is not yet irreversible, but inaction will ensure a slow-motion disaster that devastates not just the environment, but the economies and political stability of an entire region. The Caspian's fate is still in human hands, but for how much longer?